The central theme for this year's Voices of Hope is joy, with focuses on music, culinary arts, and uplifting the community and unsung heroes. Focusing on these universal themes and uplifting the infinite contributions of the culture that unifies us all. On behalf of all of us at TD, we are proud to support Voices of Hope and to be part of such an incredible event. Winter times I'm awakened, trying to solve the equations of a divided nation. Something ain't adding up past the point where we had enough. It's zero opportunity. Don't tell me that you had it rough. Already told him about the roses growing out of pavement. School ain't clicked, but with his knowledge, probably drive a spaceship. Look what he facing. All that anger he misplacing. You just see him running, but it's freedom that he's chasing. Need you to shine your light. Need you to shine your light. Need you to shine your light on the world. I said shine your light. Need you to shine your light. I tell them shine your light. You got it. You got it. I tell them shine your light. Sir, talk to them. We tell them shine your light on the world. I tell them. Coming live from the side that's running out of options. And when all backs to the wall, we'll get it popping. Kick in the door, no need for knocking. Simple synopsis. You can't televise a revolution. It's retribution once you tired of watching. Idiot boxing ain't dodging a problem. Black folks' brains never need washing. You know my roots and know my truths. The waters that he wade in, you just see him running. But it's freedom that he chasing. Need you to shine your light. Need you to shine your light. We tell them shine your light on the world. We say shine your light. I tell them shine your light. Please shine your light on the world. I say shine your light. Talk to them, turn. What's good, y'all? Y'all can hear me, right? I need to hear y'all. What's good? Tell them shine your light. On the world, we tell them shine your light. Yeah, we gonna have a good time. Shelly, what's good? What's up? Uh huh. Let's go, sir. Tell them shine your light. Please help me welcome to the stage the phenomenal, amazing, just all that, Reverend Dr. Lorena Marshall Blake. So tonight we celebrate the black experience. And, and that's a, not just a great thing, but that's a wonderful thing. That's an awesome thing. But in our community, I believe celebration always goes hand in hand with remembrance. And you know, Alice Walker always says, we must remember to remember all those who have gone before us. Again, we stand on their shoulders. So we celebrate the hard-won achievements of African Americans. I want to close quickly with, by a woman named Minnie Player, again from the book that I mentioned earlier. And in it, she, she grew up and she wanted to be a nurse. I did too, but I fainted blood, so I couldn't be a nurse. So that solved that. But in Birmingham, Alabama in the 1950s, she was mopping floors at the city's mental health hospital. She befriended a white doctor who had been admitted after the end of his marriage. She would challenge him every day 
to work on getting better. When he was finally able to leave, he told Minnie that she was the biggest reason he was able to rebuild himself. In her letter, she wrote, great moments often catch us off guard. You never know the power you possess to heal the human heart. Regardless where life may lead, you've got a role to play. And I try to live by that, and I hope it means something to you too. Play the role, get in the game, do your part, have joy. And we thank you again for being here tonight. Thank you so much. But our first innovation award goes to two culinary giants who are lifelong Philadelphians, Robert and Benjamin Bynum. Uh, we'd first like to thank uh, Kathy, Joan, Toby, and Ashley, and Naomi for really making us a part of the Man Music Center family over the course of the last two years. Uh, it's really been a great relationship and we're happy to work with you guys. Uh, Larry Skinner has been uh, one of our best friends and we really appreciate him making us part of the family. You know, I will say, when my brother and I sat down today and we opened the program, to see um, the picture of our father who passed away um, six months ago. And there's not a day that goes by that we don't realize that everything that we've accomplished has only been done because of him and because we're on his shoulders every day. So thank you, thank you to the man very much for that. That means a lot to us. This evening's second innovation award goes to a company that identifies real estate projects that have the potential to bring positive change to communities. Mosaic Development Partners seek sustainable developments, job creation, diversity, and community acceptance. Please put your hands together and help me welcome Leslie Smallwood Lewis and Gregory Reeves to the stage. You know, but what brings me joy is that we've been able to really help grow businesses, start black businesses, female-owned businesses that are still thriving and being successful and creating jobs within our community. But I think the greatest joy is that we've been so blessed with a group of people that work with us every day. It's our Mosaic family. And if I could, I'd like to just give a moment for them to just stand up because they work so hard every day with and for us. I, I will say uh, this is very humbling for us. Leslie and I have never sought accolades. We've never cared about them. We've actually never cared about money either. It's not what's driven us. It's not why we started the company. We started it out of, and we said it before, frustration and pain. And we were just tired of seeing the condition that we experienced as professionals and not seeing people that look like us being a part of wealth building and wealth creation, not being invited into any table, not given a chance to prove our worth and our wealth and our value. And so we decided we'd do it ourselves and we'd bring people with us. And that's what we've done. Coming up next to perform, he is has been on the road with Philly's own Jill Scott. He is currently working with Adele for her residency in Las Vegas. Please give it up for Eric Wortham II and his friends.
Our next inspirational honoree creates business opportunities and champions equity, diversity, and inclusion. As President and Chief Executive Officer of the Eastern Minority Supplier Development Council, 
Valerie Cofield facilitates business partnerships between and among EMSDC's corporate members and its certified minority business enterprises. Please help me welcome Valerie Cofield to the stage. Community is what you're born into. It's what you make. Um, it's what you in impact. And the work that I do is about impact. It's about creating space and opportunity for black and brown businesses to grow and thrive. And that's what it's about. It's about building our communities in a way that they thrive. When you think about the social determinants of health, one of the social determinants of health is economic parity and justice and equity. And that happens through wealth creation. There's an impact study that says it's gonna take 333 years to close the racial wealth gap between black and non-minority individuals. I don't know about you, I'm not into cryogenics, I don't have 333 years. <laughs> so what this means is the work that has to get done has to get done now. Give up a Valerie Cofield, please. All right. I am so excited about our final honoree. This is another one that I don't have to read the script, but I'm gonna read it so I don't get cussed out if I say something wrong. <laughs> We honor a highly revered artist and friend who has graced stages in her hometown of Philadelphia and across the globe, winning fans and admirers alike with her extraordinary voice and presence. She is highly regarded in the music community for her vocal dexterity, mesmerizing performances, and genuinely warm personality. After partnering with Axis Music Group, a former Philadelphia-based production company, this next honoree started an independent label, Critic Notes, and creatively spearheaded the creation and release of her debut CD, Moments Like This. She is a former chapter president and current national trustee of the Grammys, the Recording Academy. Give it up. So stop. I don't want to give you all too much. You got to cut the check. TD Bank, where they at? Give it up for Miss Carol Riddick. First giving honor, glory, praise, and extreme gratitude to God. <laughs> Let me tell you how I needed that. I had a whole, I, I had so much that I wanted to say, but what I will say is thank you so much to Larry. Thank you so much to Kathy. Thank you so, so much to Mrs. Naomi Gonzalez. I had to say her entire name because I have all my emails, to, you know. Thank you so much to the entire man board. Thank you so much to Marcine Riddick and Pee Wee Marshall, the two that came together to create this soul and being here. When you put those two together, what you get is a being of service. And that's all I know. That's all I know to be. That's all I know from my entire family. What I know is that I'm not done. What I know is that there's so much more to do. So it's so, it's difficult for me to process when people thank me for doing what I feel I should be doing and what I feel I'm responsible for doing. But I would also like to thank every single spirit with whom I share DNA and a bloodline, my family members, and those with whom I do not, who are my family members, because y'all know, you know who you are. Y'all know who you are. You know who you are, my entire family. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, because I know my cousin is in here. We, I call him dummy. He calls me stupid. <laughs> and you know that's family, because only family does that, right? Only family does that. I want to say happy 40th birthday to my family member, Drashana. Happy 40th, sweetheart. That's my baby girl. All right? I won't take too much more of your time. I know there was something else that I was supposed to say that I forgot. And also, you see, I didn't check the weather because I was trying to be grown, right? I said, I'm new. So before I, become, before I start shaking and whatnot because I'm freezing, I'm just going to say, God bless you all. May he continue to bless and keep all of you, and happy Mother's Day, happy other Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to all who serve in the spirit of motherhood. God bless you. See, I knew it. I forgot something.
month, and I have got to extend my utmost gratitude to Cheryl Evans Congleton, who created this for me. Okay, did you, she got my hoops, she got my hair, did you see it? I said, listen, if my hair falls off, just put it in the trash, okay? Don't just. <laughs> they said, get on up there now, get on up there. So we chose to perform two songs tonight, one of which, if, if I could just have just a little tail, just a little bit, guys, just a, to my, because I can't wait to get, what, what? Ah! A song that my beloved Eric Wortham and I co-wrote. We're going to perform this song in a minute, but right now, what we're going to do is a song that, um, that I wrote about knowing who you are, about owning who you are, about walking your journey. I call it Brown Eyed Girl because that's who I am, that's what I am. I'm just a brown eyed girl. That's what I am, that's who I am. Without further ado. Yeah. 
God bless you. God bless you. So this last song that we're going to perform, heavens the Mercator. This next song is a song that I co-wrote with this gentleman right here, this beloved soul that um, I consider my very own testimony. When I said to you all that my mother and my father raised me a certain way, what I neglected to say was that my village and my tribe did too. So I, I have to thank my village and my tribe as well. But I'm still a work in progress. I'm still a work in progress. With every second, every minute, every hour, I'm trying to do better, I'm trying to be better. This song is called The Better Me, and hopefully you can relate to it.
only I could turn back the time. We love you on behalf of Eric, on behalf of Aaron, on behalf of Lionel, on behalf of John, Simon, I love each and every one of you. Congratulations to every honoree. We love you, but God loves you so much more.